This may very well be the most overpowered car in this game. What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. Today we are going to be hopping behind the wheel of a 1973 Porsche 911 Carrera RSR 2.8. So uh, at first, I mean, it's a little unassuming. You know, obviously you've got to respect old Porsches and the heritage and such, but it's it's very obviously an older body style, an older model. It's a, a level 188 stock. It's only $86,000. So Trev, what are you talking about? One of the best cars in the game. Well, this RSR Porsche has been overpowered in pretty much every Need for Speed game since I can remember. Like it, it's just, a, it's in the code somewhere. I don't know if it's on purpose or not. I don't know if they, they you know, leave it in there because it's almost a meme at this point, but this thing has always been so good, particularly from a handling perspective. Now, obviously stock, it's a little slow. You guys can see, I mean, we're kind of struggling to get over hundred miles an hour going up this hill, but with a few upgrades and a few tunes, I think this is gonna be one of the best cars in our stable. And uh, I'm kind of excited to see what we can do. We're definitely going to be able to put a really nice wide body kit on this thing, and uh, it should be a pretty fun episode. So stock, we've got a 308 horsepower, 2.8 liter flat six engine in here. I do think I am going to upgrade this thing. We're going to try to get as much power to the ground as possible. So we're going to do a little, little engine swap here to a 503 horsepower, 2.9 liter V6. So $192,000 down the drain there, and then you guys know the deal. We are going to go through and throw ultimate parts on every piece of this thing. Let's see where we end up. So interesting enough, I mean, we we just barely made it to 400. I thought we were gonna be a little bit higher than that, but right there at the very end is when we made it to 400. You guys can see we're completely maxed out here. We're gonna end up with 880 horsepower, which is uh, is pretty good. It, it's, you know, not even close to the max that we've had in the past. We've been getting things up closer to 14 or 1500, but um, not bad. It, it's gonna be more about how this thing handles. That is the secret sauce for this. So let's go into customization here. I wanna see what we've got for community wraps. I'm just gonna guess we're gonna have RWB designs here yeah look at that right there the first one that we saw rwb so that stands for i'm probably gonna butcher this raw welt mcgriff i just looked it up raw welt mcgriff basically super famous japanese tuner and and really known for their porsches and you guys can see here almost every single one of these has an rwb design on it. So I'm, I'm trying to think, what do we want to go with? I'm going to go with one of the simple ones. I've got a color in mind that I really want to do here. So I'm going to go with this simple red. We could probably keep it red if we wanted to, but I think I'm going to change it up. Lime green, baby. That's right. I don't know. I, I feel like we've had quite a few red cars in this series. I mean, more than we've had for green. And, and I just, I, I felt like lime green might actually look pretty cool here especially after we start adding in some of the body mods and stuff. So let's uh, let's get into this. It's an 8 out of 10 for mods, which is obviously going to be very, very good. And uh, we're probably going to end up going with an RWB kit, but let me see what these fenders look like. What do we want to do? I definitely want it wide body. I think RWB is going to be going to be the one to go for there. So we've got that. Let me see our hood. Hmm... Ooh, I kind of like that. The gas, the gas cap right in the middle. All right, we've got that. Front bumper, what do we want to roll with? What do we like the best here? RWB doesn't look bad. I guess it gives us a little bit wider of a, a look there, so I'm going to go with that. All right, now we can check our diffuser. Or our, our splitter, I'm sorry. Sometimes I say that wrong. I kind of like that right there. Oh, yeah, let's get this thing down to the grounds. Can we put some canards on there? Absolutely, looks good to me. And then do we want to do anything to the headlights? We could darken them out. We could give it more of like a yellow. That actually might be kind of interesting. I'm down for that. We're gonna go with the, the yellow the yellow headlights on there. All right, now we're gonna get to our, uh, our side skirts. I'm gonna go with the billeted, you know, kind of bolt-on type look. Mirrors, definitely gonna wanna put, put two mirrors on there. It didn't, it only had one mirror to start off, which is kind of interesting. Wide body RWB, we've got a couple of options. Ooh, ooh, I like that. I'm gonna go with that right there. That looks that looks pretty nice. All right, looks good. Tail lights, gonna be able to change these up quite a bit. I'm gonna say, let's go ahead and, uh, and smoke them out there. And then let's see what we've got for a rear bumper. The RWB is gonna bring it out wide like that. Or we've got, ooh, we've got the, 
the giant Porsche set there, but that's gonna take away our RWB. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put the RWB bumper on there. Diffuser. Do we have anything interesting? Just kind of the stock ones. I guess we'll go for the big obnoxious stock one because this thing's already big and obnoxious. Trunk lid. See what we're working with here. Ah, oh, yeah, dude. I'm gonna say, ooh, dude, this is crazy. What do you think? Do you like the RWB? I'm gonna go with the RWB. Rawwell Begriff. I think that's how you say it. All right, looking uh, looking pretty good so far here. Exhaust, we can probably change up a little bit. Give it some some huge angled exhausts. We've also, no, I'm sorry. I want to go for it, but absolutely not. That just absolutely kills it. That looks so bad. I'm gonna go with something like that. Looks pretty good. A rear uh, license plate. We are definitely gonna want to change up here. I don't think we have any greens. Yeah, we don't have any greens, but we can go for more of a white here. And then uh, I'm going to do a, a little frame. I actually like the one that has the little ghost up in the top right. So we've got that. And then I'm going to say, I mean, let's just... It's written everywhere else all over the car, so we're going to go with RWB on the back there. All right, looking, uh, looking pretty snazzy so far. We definitely need to get some better rims, though. That is too nice, dude. So I had to go for them. These are some of my favorite rims in this game. They're normally gray, but I turned them into carbon fiber. I feel like it looks really, really sleek there. But, um, you know, obviously with wide body kits that have like the bolt on look, these rims look great with that because it's got all the bolts around the lip there. So, dude, this thing looks so nice. I love how it turned out. It would have been cool in red. It would have been cool in yellow. It would have been cool in pretty much any color. But I absolutely love how this thing turned out. All right, so we've got to get, uh, let's get into our effects here. Of course, we're going to go for a green nitrous color. Of course, we're going to go for some, uh, some, some green tire smoke. Of course, we're going to go for some lime underglow. Just kidding, they've got straight up green, which is nice. We, ooh, we could go for yellow to match the headlights. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and put an air suspension on there because that looks pretty good. And then uh, we definitely want to stance it a little bit. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stance it out just like that. Um, do we, do we want to change the headlights away from the yellow? The yellow honestly is a little bit ugly. I mean, it, it kind of works. It kind of doesn't. I feel like it might look a little bit better without the yellow. Dude, this is a lean, mean, green machine. Kermit the Porsche, ready and raring to go. Dude, this thing is so fresh, it's even matching our sweatshirt. I'm so excited for this. This is about to be crazy. So, uh, if you guys remember a couple episodes ago, we had a, a little challenge here at the docks. I'm going to take the long way here so we can kind of drift and, and get a feel for the car. Uh, we had a little challenge over here that was honestly pretty intense. Like, it was just a lot of turning, a lot of craziness. And I wanted to come back and do this one again just to kind of get a feel for the car and see see just how good it is. Like, is this is this as good at handling as we think it's gonna be? But yeah, this thing's supposed to be like the, the ultimate handling machine in this game. Now, obviously there are different tunes and setups you can have, whether you choose track tires or showcase tires or drift tires or things like that. But from a base perspective, this thing's supposed to be a monster and I can already see that compared to last time we did this race. Dude, there's so much get up on the takeoff, but there's also so much braking. Things so small and lightweight, we can throw this so easily. Oh my goodness, man. This is truly insane. I love it. Looking good so far. I think this is our, our big sweeping turn. Followed by another big sweeping turn. Wow. Wow, dude. Are you kidding me right now? Ooh, not that hard of a turn there, Trev. We could just glide through all this. Yes, sir. This is insane. We're about to set a record in this thing. Oh, shoot, that's my fault, 100%. Oh, this is not good. Your boy's got the best handling car in the game, yet somehow he figures out a way to, to mess it up. Here we go, come on. Okay, we made it. Shoot, we're now behind this guy. Are you kidding me right now? We had such a good thing going. Apart from avoiding giant crates like an idiot, this thing is, is pretty impressive, dude. Oh my goodness. It turns on a dime. It's a great handling car, but unfortunately it's not idiot proof. As you guys are, are seeing, case in point right here, we're going to go left. 
Dude, missing the bear. Okay. Well, that's not where you go, Trev. Missing the, the, the barriers, the guidelines for the track kind of messes you up a little bit. But, dude, look at this. Are you kidding me right now? Kind of missed the checkpoint there. All right. Well, it started, it started really strong. The, the first lap was great. We kind of fell off the wagon there at the end. I've spent like five minutes with this thing, maybe a little bit less, and I can already tell that this is the jack of all trades. We're gonna be able to race with this, high speed, white knuckle driving, evading traffic, that sort of thing. We're also gonna be able to, to drift with it, which is what we're gonna go do right now. We're gonna try a little drift track. Do you guys remember the last drift, uh, drift event that we had to do? It was like crazy around like the, the sewage treatment plant or whatever. That's the one we are going to do right now. It's got nothing but sweeping turns. It's literally perfect to test out a car like this. And I think we're going to kill it. Car's a little beat up, but I think she's still going to be able to perform. So here we go. We've got three laps. Target score of 160,000. This is, uh, this is going to be light work, dude. For a drift car, we probably should have had the, the five times three pounds of nitrous, but I think I think the handling is so good, we're gonna be all right no matter what. Woo. Shoot, I was trying to get it sideways there. We couldn't get it sideways in the middle of that, that nitrous pull, but dude, this thing is so solid. Are you kidding me? I've never felt so in control of a car. Are you serious? Look at these sweeping turns. This is amazing. I, it's, it's like in my head, I know where I want to go. And sometimes the car and my fingers don't match up. But with this thing, it all matches up in perfect harmony. Wow. I'm going to round through this way. We're on lap two already. We're looking pretty good for score, but we could get a little bit better. I think we'd have more score if we did have that... The, the little nitrous boosts. It's kind of hard hard to do this without the nitrous boosts that we need, but dude, look at some of these turns, man. Let's just keep keep linking these to the best of our abilities, try to get us up to a four times multiplier. Even without the nitrous, we're still keeping our, our speed up pretty well, which is impressive. And even when you enter a drift late, this thing still saves you because it, it turns on a dime. Bro, this is insane. All right, I'd say we've we've kind of we're, we're feeling pretty good about the drifting. Let's um let's go actually see what this thing can perform like at high speeds in a race. Now I will be 100% honest with you guys. Obviously we were not gonna hit the target score of that that drift section right there. I mean we we don't have slicks on. We don't have a drift differential or anything like that. If this car was built to drift, I think we would have slayed it out. I just kind of wanted to 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 feel the slidiness of the car, if that makes sense. So that's exactly what we did. I'm gonna come up here, we're gonna go hit, uh, let's go hit this gas station over on the other side. And then we're gonna switch things over to nighttime. We've got a level 400 race that, uh, that we're gonna do. So we're gonna hit this right here. Beautiful, let's swap things over to the nighttime. These cops don't know what's about to hit them, man. We are, uh, we're bringing the heat tonight. Oh. Look at it against that Miami skyline, baby. All right, here we go. We've got the uh, the Discovery Race. Level 400 recommended. That's exactly what we are. Let's get it. She's looking beautiful, dude. Truly looking beautiful out here. I love it. Here we go. We know she can drift. We know she can handle. But can she race? This is going to be a point to point. It's going to be all about your speed and your handling at speed. Typically cars like this that are so loose and, and lower speeds are a little bit harder to control at high speed But I guess we'll find out what happens today. I mean, it's definitely It's definitely a little looser than Than a normal grippy, you know supercar But I I don't think it's too loose. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see how we feel It's all about a matter of, of personal preference, but it feels pretty solid so far so we're gonna come around this way enter that slide oh yeah dude are you kidding me this thing's making me look so good so smooth and the fact that it still handles pretty well at, at high speed like this that was my fault we cut that a little bit too close on that corner but it still handles itself fairly well 
Switching lanes is a little bit sketchy, but it's, uh, it's manageable, if that makes sense. Of course that makes sense. That's not something hard to wrap your head around. But yeah, you guys get what I mean. Like, I could use a little bit more grip in certain situations, but I feel like it's worth the trade-off to be able to do stuff like this. Like enter a drift late and still drift that corner. Or drift this entire thing without losing any momentum and just keep on pushing. That is, dude, we are 100%, if we ever do some online races and stuff, this, this is going to be the car to do it in. I feel so confident in this thing. My goodness. I think we've got a straight coming up here. Yeah. We'll do it after we take the left. Whew. A little bit nervous about that intersection. Wasn't sure what was going to happen, but we're going to go straight through here. Then we got a left, and then we got a long straight. Dude, we're 23% of the way through this race, and we are already starting to take off on these fools. Here we go. Nitrous time. Got a cop up here. Nice to see you. Nice to know you, bro. I'm already gone. There's no way you're going to catch me here. Woo! I don't know how he saw me. I Like, how... I, he would have just seen a green flash. There's no way you could have actually seen it and seen it was a Porsche 911 at that speed. No chance. Dude, even just turning... Even just turning fairly hard without pumping the gas or hitting the brakes or anything, it starts to slide a little bit, but in a good way. It's like the amount of slide that you want. Got a pretty long straight here. I'm down to hit it. Woo! Oh my goodness, dude, this thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, and then we're making turns like that once. That was like a panic break and the thing just went exactly where I wanted it to go. Dude, this is insane. You can just take take some of these corners at full speed and there's no there's no question about it. It just keeps on going. It's like, oh, you want to turn left when I'm going 213 miles an hour? Sure, we can do that. Of course we go off the road the second that I look at our speed. 100% my fault there. What do we have? We got a long straight. I'm down. Oh my, dude, how does it do it? I don't understand. I really don't get it how it does it. Woo! Pay attention, Trev. I really don't understand how this thing is this good. Got a cop there? Sorry, bro. I'm not down to pull over. See ya. Tell your Sarge I said hey. Oh my gosh. We're good. Coming around those corners when you can't see that oncoming lane is a little bit scary, I'm not going to lie. Dude, 53% of the way through this race, I am, like, we are so far ahead of the the opponents, but I'm still having so much fun because we're going so ridiculously fast. We've almost got our nitrous back. Do we have a good spot to hit this? Probably wait till, oh, let's hit it on this. We might be able to earn it back by then, but I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. That's going to be a a nice one to hit it on because it's straight no chance of running into anyone so we're gonna wait till we're on that little bridge there but dude look at this are you kidding me 210 miles an hour just just turn literally don't have to do anything but just turn you shouldn't run into the rear end of other people though trev that was user error same with that second lap of the time trial at the start this is just I've been looking forward to making this vehicle. I knew it was going to be good. I knew it was going to be OP. I didn't realize it was going to be like this. Like, we, we should have made this a long time ago. Here we go. This is that straight we were thinking of, right? Maxing out at 238 miles an hour. Full straight line speed. Oh, I thought that was a sharper turn than it was. We're good. Switching lanes, avoiding cars, hitting like literally anything you want this thing to do, it does. Probably sound like a broken record at this point. Hope you guys are enjoying the episode. Obviously, this isn't really a race anymore. We're so far ahead. I'm wondering if we're going to set a 
set a personal personal best on this. I would imagine we're going to. There's another cop on us, but I don't think he's gonna last very long. I just found that damn driver again. Don't let him slip. Oh, come on, dude. I hate that. Dude, these guys, they don't even try. He he had already turned around. We were so far ahead. How do we make corners like like what? Bro, what is happening? We're going up on sidewalks and stuff, and it's not even phasing this thing. Ambulance in the oncoming lane. We're just going to cut the cut the drift short. Wow, dude. This is insane. All right. Looks like we, uh, we've got a little bit left here. A bit of a straight. And then we've got some small little turns and stuff through the city, but nothing too crazy. Back up to our top speed of 238 miles an hour. Looking good. Woo! Dude, we... We hit the e-brake so late on that, but somehow we still stayed right in our, right in our lane. I got Another cop there. We're gonna see him and then see him later. I have a positive ID on the subject from our prior chase. Let's hunt him down. When you think about how we normally drive in this game and how we, we typically have a couple little wrecks per race and stuff, and we we have some little issues and stuff. This was the longest race in the game, and it was just about flawless. There were, there's one one section where I think it was user error, maybe two, where we rear-ended somebody, but this is just, this is crazy, dude. Woo! Got 4% of this thing left. There's a cop up here in front of us. I don't think he's going to be able to get us. Give me that extra. Oh my gosh, we ramped over it. No way. Dude, that was... That was in. Oh wait, what? We missed a checkpoint. Oh shoot! I wasn't paying attention. Well, please don't tell me we're gonna end up losing this because of that. The fact that we were this far ahead. We're good. See ya. I ain't got time for the popo. Shoot, that just messed up our personal best. We had it, man. Still, absolutely insane drive. Holy cow. Just did a full lap. Full lap around the map. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys later. This thing's insane. It's relatively cheap, too. I, I can't believe how good this is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.